Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Shotwani once again from learn-animation.com. Today in this lecture, I'm going to talk about how you can include or how you can exclude any specific spec file while running your web driver IO test. Okay, so it's going to be very easy. You just you need to make sure you edit this spec file. Okay, I will see this configuration file and this spec section. So before we change this, let me show you the current situation. So currently we have three JavaScript files. So in this file, in this spec file, I have one test, which is just filling some form. Then I have another file, which is another spec file, which have three test cases, which is verifying URL, title, and login. Then I have multiple elements file, which is having two test cases. So now if I want to run all of them, few of them, how we can do that. So let's come back to webdriver io.config.js file. Then you can just scroll down and this is the first option that you will be getting called spec specs. Now here you can see we can mention that which file we want to run. And here in the exclude section, you can mention which file you don't want to run at all. So first, if I just mention that go to test folder, which is this, then go to specs folder, which is this. Inside this, whatever files you will get, which is ending with .js extension. In our case, we have three, three spec files, but each spec file might have multiple test cases, right? So in this case, if I simply run this, let's see how many tests it is going to execute. So right now we are already on this page, or so I will say this location, right? Uh, which is this webdriver IO tutorials. So let's run this uh, webdriver io.config.js file. So as we have seen in the past, we are going to write npx webdriver io, then run. Then we are going to run this webdriver io.config.js file. The moment I run this, it is going to pick all these spec files and it is going to execute all of them. The moment you hit enter, I will notice uh, one thing. Okay, let's see the console output first. So you can see three workers started. So basically now it is running three sessions now for us. Okay, one worker node for each and you can see three Chrome is going to launch. Let me show you one by one. This is first, this is second, and this is third. That's the beauty of WebDriver IO that it is running your test by default in parallel. Okay, we have not mentioned this in uh, you know, anywhere, but depends on how many instances you want that I will show you. How you can configure but it's running your test in parallel and you can see it executed all the spec files the total spec file three all three passed three total hundred percent completed in just 33 seconds so this element.js spec file had only one test feed and you know one test case then it also executed multiple element.js spec file which had two test cases it also executed first test.js which had three test cases. So total three spec file executed. Now let's say I want to execute uh, only elements and the first test. I don't want to execute this multiple element.js file. So in that case, I can you know uncomment this part or I will simply add that, hey, I don't want, let's say this file to run. So I will just uncomment this part. I will say go to test folder, go to specs folder. And if you find any file with multiple, multiple element.js, then don't execute. So it's going to run all except this multiple element.js. Let, let's see. So this time if I will run, it's going to start two nodes for us, two working nodes. And it's going to run two parallel sessions. Because what, as you can see, yes, two workers, and it's going to start two sessions in parallel. Yes, running in Chrome, running in Chrome again. So this is one, and this is two. Both are running in parallel. Okay, whatever test we have designed, we'll do the same thing, and it will simply close. Okay, so if you give star.js, it is going to run all. If you just exclude some of the spec file, it is going to exclude all of them, whichever you have mentioned. In the same way, if you want to you know, pass a specific 
a spec file that you want to run so suppose now i don't want to change this configuration file on the fly i just want to pass that i want to run only this spec file which is first test. so you can understand now it's very easy it is just you need to make changes on this web driver io.config.js file now suppose now you have a requirement that you want to run only specific first test.js file and you don't want to make changes to this file again and again now the question comes is there any option that we can pass this spec file from the command prompt so the answer is yes for this i want to show you the official documentation so the moment you click on docs this is the getting started page and if you come here to getting started so we already have installed everything uh, but the moment you come down here uh, this is a very good feature which i found that you can pass a specific parameter called hyphen hyphen spec and you can pass any specific spec file that you want to run right now we executed this where we are making changes in this config file and it is picking the test but in this case once you have provided your configuration file just pass this additional parameter or flag called hyphen hyphen spec and just pass which xml sorry which js file you want to run in our case let's say in the third example i'm going to run only this first test.js so i will clear everything this was the last command i will say hyphen hyphen spec space and i want to say first test dot js now if i simply go and check it has three test cases okay so let's execute this in this case it's going to pick this js file which is the spec file I'm going to run three test cases and yes as expected execution of one worker started and here we go it will run as it is and you will get the output so this is how you can include or exclude any specific test from the configuration file and if you want to run any test specific then you can also pass one additional command hyphen hyphen spec and you can do that this is going to be very handy when you are going to run from any ci tool or any specific test suite that you want to run that will be very handy so that's all for this video guys i hope you have learned something new out of this video if yes then please support this channel by subscribing this channel share with your friends colleague and if you find any issue in the webdriver io let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye, -bye.